We propose a complete system for building a photorealistic 3D virtual avatar with precise and independent control over the avatar's gaze. Here we show that existing deep appearance models fail to generalize the avatar's appearance to new gaze directions and rare expressions. The avatar's eyes have an uncanny quality here and have distortions that real eyes cannot physically produce. Here we are giving an avatar with gaze control inputs that say to orient the eyes to point at the blue target, which is moving away from their face. The model largely ignores this signal, however, because during training, it only ever saw examples of the eyes pointing at a fixed depth, and so it only knows how to reconstruct eyes at that depth. For gaze tracking, we fit a simple model based on the union of two spheres to multi-view images of subjects' eyes. We reproject key points along the limbus boundary into the multi-view images and optimize the position and orientation of the eyeball in each frame to match these key points. To encourage our model to control the left and right eyes independently, we break up the, the code that controls its face into regions for the left and right eyes and add a loss during training that penalizes changes in the parts of the face not related to each region. For a given region, like the left eye for example, we take the other portions of the code, scramble their contents, and penalize the difference in the decoded output within the left eye region. This effectively says that when you change parts of the code that aren't related to the left eye, the left eye shouldn't move. Since our model produces both geometry and texture, we apply a similar penalty to the texture, such that when you change the code controlling anything other than the left eye, the left eye texture should not change. Previous methods based on deep appearance models used a facial mesh with triangles covering the eyeballs since they could not track the eyes. Now that we can track the eyes, we introduce explicit eyeball geometry controlled by gaze signals to the mesh. First, we remove the triangles covering the eyes since the eyelids are tracked fairly well. Then we place the new eyeball geometry in place. To render our new eyeball geometry, we decode a per eyeball texture using only interpretable signals, again with the goal of achieving better generalization. We produce eye textures using viewpoint, eyeball orientation, and eyelid shape so that we can model shading and specular effects. To help the model produce these specular effects, we formulate the final texture as a dynamic template and a warp field that warps that template into the final texture. To train our joint model, we first decode face geometry and texture using a deep appearance model with gaze control and independent left and right eye control. We remove the triangles that cover the eyes, rotate our eyeball geometry to match the gaze input, and place them inside the face. We then decode a texture for the eyeballs and render the entire set of meshes differentially, optimizing the model parameters to match captured images. Here's what our final train model looks like. Thanks to the image-based pixel-for-pixel matching, the boundary between the rough eyeball estimates and the rest of the face is well hidden. Here we show examples of eyeball textures at various gaze directions. To highlight the improvement in gaze precision and appearance quality produced by our model, we show comparisons between it and a deep appearance model with gaze control. While the baseline does attempt to draw the eyes in roughly the right place, their quality is very poor and the orientation is clearly off. With our explicit eyeball model, we know exactly where the eyes are pointing at all times. So now that we have this cool avatar that can render eyes and face in all these new conditions, it would be great if we can drive it in real time, just like you're seeing my avatar do right now. I can look all around in new unseen directions, while I'm talking, I can make new expressions. All of this preserving all these new combinations of gaze and expression that we haven't seen before in the training data. So how do we do all this? Using a training headset with nine cameras to better capture the face, our correspondence model estimates expression, headset pose relative to the face, and additionally gaze direction from the headset images using a subset of frames with gaze labels. We then use these as inputs to decode the mesh and texture for each headset camera viewpoint. We jointly train a shallow network to convert avatar textures into the headset domain, render the avatar, and optimize the entire system end-to-end -to, -end to match headset images using differentiable rendering. Our eyeball model lets us apply novel constraints to match 2D eye segmentations to further improve the driving precision. This process gives us pairs of headset images and inputs for an avatar that matches the face seen in those headset images. Here we show some of the correspondences learned by our model. We swap between images of the rendered avatar and images of the headset to show alignment. We compare against a previous method, which uses generative adversarial networks to perform style transfer between the domains using a simpler, deep appearance model-based approach. Our explicit eyeball geometry generalizes better and aligns the eyeball much more precisely to the images in the headset. Using images from a simple tracking headset with only three cameras, we produce a shared feature map to describe the appearance of the face. From this feature map, we regress to expression codes, as well as bounding boxes for each eye. 
Using only features within the bounding boxes, we predict gaze independently from expression and use these inputs to drive the avatar in real time.